Shalom, shalom. So if you've been following along so far, we are finally to the point where we are talking about the infamous siege on Mount Carmel, um, also known as the siege on Waco. And as I said, it's going to get really, really bad. So just prepare yourselves. February 28th, 1993 was a Sunday morning, and this was the day that the ATF was going to show up at Mount Carmel with their search warrants and their arrest warrant for David Koresh. The group that arrived at Mount Carmel that morning consisted of over 75 ATF agents as well as members of the Drug Enforcement Administration, also known as the DEA, and the Department of Defense. Retired ATF agents were recently interviewed by KWTX, and they said that everybody with them knew that the Branch Davidians were waiting for them to get there, and they had no idea why they were still going. Once the ATF, DEA, and Department of Defense were on the Mount Carmel property, there was a single gunshot fired. This single shot would mark the beginning of a siege that would go on to last 51 days. It is unclear who fired this first shot. ATF agents who were later interviewed insist that the shot came from the Branch Davidians. The Branch Davidians who survived that day said that the shot came from an ATF agent, but they're not sure if it was an accident or on purpose. The commonly held belief is that when the ATF were approaching the building on Mount Carmel, that one of their weapons had an accidental discharge, which started this whole thing. Now, remember that undercover ATF agent Rodriguez we talked about in an earlier video? He actually ended up leaving the compound that day before all of this went down after having a conversation with David Koresh. And when he got out and the ATF asked, what were the Branch Davidians doing inside? Rodriguez said, that David had sent all the women and children undercover, that the men had armed themselves, and that everyone was praying. As soon as that first shot was fired, both sides began shooting at each other, and David Koresh himself was shot within the first few minutes of this. He was actually shot twice, uh, but neither of those were fatal. During the first few minutes of what would become a two-hour-long shootout between the Branch Davidians and the ATF, the Branch Davidians began calling 911 and telling them that they were being shot at and that they were shooting back in self-defense. There's still so much to discuss in this story, so be sure to follow so that you're here for the rest of it.